Hi, this is Terrence Wing from Liquid Learn, and today's topic is going to be on PowerPoint and how to create a master slide. Now, the reason why we would want to create a master slide is first, it condenses your PowerPoint presentation so that it's not so resource heavy, especially if you use a lot of graphics and clip art and things along those lines. And the second is that it's a more efficient way of working. So let's get right to it. So the first thing, what you're looking at here is the typical slide view when you're designing inside a PowerPoint. What you want to do is go to view, click on slide master, and now we're taking inside of the master view. Now I, I pulled in all my clip art ahead of time so we wouldn't waste a lot of time. Now when you come to this, usually there are about 10 to 15 uh, different submasters to choose from. I deleted a lot of those submasters so that it'd be just easier for you to see and to, uh, for this screencast. So the first thing we want to do is we want to start with the, the master slide. Now this isn't the submaster, this is the master master. Start moving your clip art into the frame. All right, so I just took all my clip art and I'm moving it into frame. Now, as you can see, as I click on, you can see that these are each different separate pieces of clip art. This centerpiece here is just an oval with an internal shadow placed over a rectangle, and that creates this squiggly or this uh, kind of curved line effect. It's an effect I use in a lot of my PowerPoint designs. I think it just adds a nice dimension of graphic design. So now all these things are done here on this master slide, but as you can see, it populated into all the submasters. So as we go to each of the submasters, we get to choose some items that we, we may want to put into the submaster. Now this submaster just has footers, and every time we go to that slide in the slide um, in the presentation mode, or not the presentation mode, but in the design mode, then we get to input information into those blocks. Now we can also insert a placeholder. In this case, these are our choices of placeholders. And let's say we're going to import a picture placeholder. So we go ahead and we place the placeholder and stretch it to however, whatever dimensions we want inside of that slide. And that goes ahead and gives us this template with a placeholder that every time we create that slide, we import a new picture into that slide. So let's now close out of the master view because we've created our master slides. So we'll just go over here to close master view. And now you can see that in the slide that was created, we have the, the master slide. Now there's a little, some edges here that I would normally clean up that I didn't. When we're ready to create a new slide, sometimes some designers might have done this. They go and they copy the slide and then they paste it here and they just keep making duplicate copies before they know how to do a master slide. Well, you don't need to do that anymore, especially because it creates a lot, it uses up a lot of resources. But one of the advantages of doing the master slide is you have all those templates, they're all right here for you to choose from. So let's go to, let's go to the one with the picture temp placeholder that we put in there. So now you can see here's a temp, the placeholder. We just double click on the placeholder And yeah, we'll just choose that picture for now. And that picture populates. And every time we want to duplicate this slide and with a new picture, now we have that option without having to recreate the whole slide and adjust things around. So these things don't really move. Oops, I guess they do move. So now we know that the placeholders actually do move, but at least it starts in the same place so you get some consistency. Now, every time you want a new slide, instead of cutting or copying and pasting, then just keep clicking on that new slide button. When you click on the, the top button, you get the master master slide. When you click on the bottom button, you get to choose from whatever templates you created, sub master slides. So that's how you create a master slide. That's it. It's that simple.